saw coming, obviously coming into this championship here, you're playing North Carolina team that won the coastal side. They look great. Kind of, what was the prep coming into it? Um, well, we knew they're a very talented team. Um, we watched some film from them against Duke, and I think what a benefit for us was we didn't get to play them this year, so they didn't really have to, you know, see us and and you know learn from past games. But uh, our coaching did a really great job watching film and uh, knowing what they do best and trying to find exploit, uh, areas to exploit. And we stick to the game plan the coaches gave us, and we worked hard in training the week prior, and we stuck to the game plan, and we just battled it out, and we got the win. Before we get to the game, kind of talking about the journey to get here, it, it, it just it so much tells the story that is the ACC men's soccer. This is a road. You guys had to beat Notre Dame at your place, which you, which you scored the game-winning goal. Uh, clutch, go at Wake, beat the number one team in the country who ha they don't lose very often, if at all, ever, each year. And then you had to come here and play North Carolina. Just talk about the ACC as a whole in that road that you guys had to venture on. Well, it's just uh, another reason why the ACC is one of the best conferences in the, in the country. Uh, you know, you look at the teams we played, North uh, Notre Dame, UNC, and Wake, those are RPI teams, five, three, and one. You know, and uh, you play in that week and a whole week stretch, you play those games in a whole week stretch. It's very, very tough uh, recovery wise, especially, you know, playing those very, very tough opponents. So I think for us, it was just really key for us to just, you know, prepare each game and knowing what we're doing and just play each game one game at a time and just focus on the team we were playing. Talk about that first half. That first half, you guys were the aggressors, but it's, it's weird to say this because you were the aggressors, but you guys were very patient in the box. It wasn't like you were just taking shots left and right. You guys were aggressive and handling the ball and then making the right opportunities, getting the one obviously in the first half. Just talk about that. Talk me through it. Well, UNC is a very talented team behind the ball, so we wanted to keep them in front of us and, you know, ship them around and just wait for our moments to, you know, counter and go at them and we found the opportunities to do that and then when we had the time to go at them we tried to bring numbers forward to you know pick and choose our moments and then go at them and find the chances and we did that and we were able to score. Talk about that goal if you could just walk me through the goal how exactly it happened. Um, so there's some pockets in behind that we wanted to get playing the ball in behind and then getting the second balls and uh, we were building the ball and they had pressure and they did a really great job pressuring us this whole game and uh, Cody played a great ball in and then the center back hit it down to Z. Z passed it over to me and Sharif made a beautiful run around my back and I rolled it behind and then he hit it low on the ground in the bottom left hand corner. about trying to get that second goal to kind of kill it, but also playing patient enough to make sure that you didn't give any easy goals away to UNC. Say that again, sorry. Uh, talk about playing that, that second half, talk about defense. Obviously, it was maintaining the lead and not letting them score. Well, we didn't want to play the whole half, just, you know, sitting in and trying to just keep it 1-0. We were trying to strive to get the second goal, and we were finding the chances to go forward, but they were doing a really good job possessing the ball and shifting it side to side, and we were just making sure we sat back and had a good block unit and try not to get uh, break, broke through the middle, breaking through the middle. So we really did good moving that around and we found our times to go forward and just create some havoc in front of them. And I think that really just let the defense get their legs back and just kept the unit just as a whole, which Talk helped us. Feeling. This is you guys' first ACC championship ever. Talk about what that means to you guys and then what, how exciting that is. Uh, it's the best feeling ever, man. Especially for our coach, Ken Lola. He put so much into this program for us. We've been in the ACC five years. The first year we lost to Clemson and with a do or die moment in the last seven seconds. So to be able to come back here four years later and just you know put it every single game to get to this moment now and to win it, it's it's incredible feeling. Final question for you, talk about the clutch. You guys have, have had to beat Wake in overtime, you beat Carolina by one, and obviously you had that game winner against Notre Dame. Talk about the clutchness of this team. You know, we show up in big moments and I think it's just uh, personality wise within every individual in this team, we like to you know show up in those big moments and I think as a team collectively, we do the little things to make sure that we can, you know, get to the end of the game where those guys like to, you know, perform to, you know, win a game, win an ACC championship. So I just think from everyone from the front to the back, all 23 of the guys, we're all working very, very hard to get to that chance.